Kevin and I are on a journey to discover wonderful Indonesia and its rich culture. We're here in South Kalimantan. In the capital, Banjarmasin. A little bit of history. First of all, this is also known as the Venice of Java. So originally, this was an animus place with the Dayak community, Correct. also the Banjim community. Traditional and tribes. Traditional tribes. Then Buddhism came in. And it left, leaving Hinduism. And then the Muslims took over. So though in the 1700s, the Dutch and the English began colonization. In 1750, the Dutch took over and signed a treaty for a major trading area. Hence, the waterways were so important. Banjar Masin's waterways have been used for centuries. It's also the main transportation for coal, minerals, wood, and many other items as well. You can see that a lot of people may not have the financial ability to get themselves into luxury transport, but a good boat and a few bucks will definitely take you up the river. So we're going to check out the river early tomorrow morning and see the local market. This morning we're in Lok Ma Inden in Banja Masin. Kevin and I, we got up in the early one. Good three, morning. Four o'clock. Good, Good morning. Super early. And we're here to see the floating market. This is one of the most important things to see. It's also a little bit of heritage. And so hopefully we're going to see a lot of interesting things. And the most beautiful thing about this is also the women. They've got brightly colored uh, headdresses and also the market and the fruits in there. I mean, a lot of the fruits I think that we've seen because we live in Asia. So it, it, it's pretty much the same, same. But it's just the spectacular of the boat houses yeah. and the river. I mean, coming up here in the rain, it was pretty special. Yeah, I think the feeling is going to be very, very different. You know, it's not only about the ingredients, it's about the people that are going to be selling them and the way they get them here and the way they work as a community. Mm. And I, I, I can't wait to see it. Alrighty, well, the light's coming up. So I reckon I can see the ladies just behind me coming towards the market. Now she's selling coffee. Uh, at a cappuccino? Fantastic. Who in the hell would think you'd get a friggin' cappuccino in the middle of the river? She was up earlier. She was up early. <laughs> so again, this is what I love about Asia. Just the little surprises that you get here. Little lady coming up with a cappuccino. Let's get some of those and then after that we'll head into the market. We have a lady behind us coming up and about to sell. The market happens very quickly. It's only on for about an hour and then they all go home. Don't miss the market. Welcome to Lokma Intan, aka the floating market. Kevin and I are here <laughs> to experience some new types of fruit yeah. and also to experience as well some different styles and see what actually is on offer here. And talking about fruit, here we have mandega, which is called like a butter fruit. I'm not sure where we get the butter from, but apparently it tastes like butter. So let's have a wee taster. Are you going to taste that? Well, the smell is super aromatic. It's almost like a peach. Yeah, peach it's very buttery. Buttery, but flowery. It's like yeah. a root. Yeah. <laughs> butter with the flower. Then we have another interesting one here, which is basically guruk brut, which is kind of like a kaffir lime, but I don't think it is a kaffir lime. Basically, it's like the Thai samsa. And that's got a lot more juice than a kaffir lime does, mm. eh? Mm. Sour. And it's citrusy, but not fragrant. No. So it's very, very different. This would be a great dish, maybe, to maybe put in for the tuna carpaccio. I was or thinking something. of the same thing. For brightness as the ceviche, this would be brilliant. Alrighty. You know what I want? Yeah. I want something traditional. Now, and I think I'm behind a you. Ibu. I'm on top of the topi. The full of ibu, satu ya. If I if I buy you a hat, will you wear it for the rest of the trip? For sure, it's a done deal. There we go, super touristy. Ah, banana, more banana, ah, banana. So Kevin, I think the market's pretty much over and we look like we're the only ones left in the river. Yeah. So we've got a hat, got some fruit. Smash, smash the fruit, you're in a hat. River, all the people have left. Yeah, this is, this is like last call. Last call, time to go. So time to go. A lot to experience today. We've got to hit some more warungs and we've also got to check out some markets.